Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. Coming more apparent by the day is how the deep state is fighting back as they continue to get exposed. They're not liking what is now happening and what we are exposing on this show. The perfect example is former Obama CIA director John Brennan. He is now trying to malign President Trump with a brand new conspiracy theory. Let's take a look. I think he's afraid of the president of Russia. Why? Um, well, I think one can speculate as to why, uh, that the Russians may have something on him personally, uh, that they could always roll out and make his life more difficult. Uh, clearly, I think it's important for us to be able to improve relations with Russia. But the fact that he has, has had this fawning attitude toward Mr. Putin has not said anything negative about him. Uh, I think continues to you know, say to me that he does have something to fear. Great. Now, he's a known liar, but the media just parrots Brennan's talking points. Let's look at this. A former CIA director who's worked for presidents on both sides of the aisle is deeply concerned. It's so clear at this point that Vladimir Putin and his associates, somebody has something on Donald Trump. The big question we're asking today, why does this president feel the way he does about Vladimir Putin? That may be something that turns the key in the Russia probe, is figuring out why this president is so deferential to Putin and to Russia, and if there is some sort of compromise that they have on him. President Trump has been 50 times harder on Russia than Obama ever was, and he's about to take the legs out of Vladimir Putin's economy, and he's not whispering, oh, tell Vladimir after the election I'll have more flexibility. Red is also threatening President Trump. Let's take a look at his tweet. When the full extent of your venality, moral turpitude, and political corruption becomes known, you will take your place as a disgraced demagogue in the dustbin of history. You may scapegoat Andy McCabe, but you will not destroy America. America will triumph over you. Okay, John Brennan, who voted for a communist for president, a deep state swamp rat who's losing his mind and all of his friends now are being exposed. Here's a little Hannity history lesson on Brennan that the media won't tell you. As I said, he admitted to voting for, quote, a communist party candidate. Uh, how did you ever become the CIA director? You have to wonder. And maybe Robert Mueller should see if he's ever colluded with the Russians. And that's not all. The New York Post has reported that the House Intel Committee is investigating John Brennan and his ties to the Clinton bought and paid for dossier. And the same committee is now looking into whether Brennan committed perjury when he testified under oath, like his buddy McCabe, because he claimed to have no idea who paid for that dossier. And the Post also reporting that John Brennan briefed members of Congress, including former Democratic Senator Harry Reid about that phony dossier. And if you remember, Reid then put out a statement after meeting with Brennan days after or before the election and referenced the dossier because Brennan told him. So Brennan is dirty, political and corrupt as they come. And now he's lashing out because we're all finding out who he really is. We have even more breaking news to tell you about. The House Intel Committee has put an end to this Russia investigation, 14 months, and they will ha had a vote to release the public to the public the Republican members' final report. And the House Intel Committee released a summary of the key findings today. Here are the highlights. After 14 months, interviews with over all these witnesses, the committee found no evidence of Trump-Russia collusion. One, so the liberal media, all you Democrats, have been lying to the American people. James Clapper, number two, former Obama director national intelligence oh fake news cnn contributor well he provided inconsistent testimony about his contacts with the media i guess comey's going to get hired next and then brennan and who knows maybe they'll hire stormy and by the way if members of the partisan press are watching we first reported this last week it's called investigative journalism real news you guys might want to try it sometime instead of spinning these woo -woo 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 conspiracy theories and by the way, this wouldn't be the first time Clapper has lied to Congress. Back in May of 2013, let's watch Clapper lie. Take a look. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not. Not wittingly. There are cases where they could in inadvertently perhaps uh, collect but not, not wittingly. Oh, Clapper was lying through his teeth right there. Well, that seems to be the standard operating procedure for all these Obama deep state actors. All right, point three. The committee found, House Intel Committee, zero evidence of President Trump's pre-campaign business dealings resulting in any kind of collusion. 
Point four, they conclude no evidence that Trump associates were involved with WikiLeaks publishing stolen Democratic emails. This is another liberal media fantasy that's getting shot down. By the way, with all the countries that hacked into Hillary's server, who knows who got those Wiki who gave it to WikiLeaks? There's one of a dozen choices. Here's my prediction. Pretty easy to get this run right. The rest of the liberal media is not going to report this tonight because it proves them to be liars and phony in their quest for journalism and truth. This is all a disinformation campaign, and it's going